All right, let's get away from DeSantis for a few minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm exhausted by Ron. Are you guys <laughs> Are you guys familiar with the brand North Face? I am. Yes. My sister bought me a North Face winter jacket 10 years ago. Very lovely coats and vests yep. they have. You can get the puffy ones. Yeah. They're very warm. Yes. Uh, Expensive, too. Well, North Face is asking Bud Light uh, to hold its beer <laughs> and telling Target to watch this. Oh, man. The outdoor clothing company isn't letting the extreme backlash against both chains stop them from rolling out their annual Pride Month commercial, which once again features drag queen Win Wiley, mm. known professionally as Patagonia. Mm. Patagonia. In that, fact, that's also a brand, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, not only is North Face not dis- deterred by the pretty universal vitriol against Bud Light right now. They appear to be doubling down. Mm. This is the company's newest ad where Gonia bursts onto the screen in a rainbow dress and declares himself a real-life homosexual before inviting everyone to come out this summer. Um, not come, sure, come out this n- summer. Not sure what this has to do with selling jackets, jackets <laughs> but you do you, North Face. Here mm-hmm. we go. Hi, it's me, Patty Gonia, a real-life homosexual, and today I'm here with the North Face. We are here to invite you to come out in nature with us. Wow, this is nice. We like to call this little tour the Summer of Pride. This tour has everything. Hiking, community, art, lesbians, lesbians making art. Last year, we gay saw shade across the nation and celebrated pride across the nation with hundreds of you across the nation. This year, we're back, back, back again with two new stops. Atlanta, GA. Why? Because you're there. In Salt Lake City, we're coming for you. Howdy, here we go. Of course. This year, all these fabulous speakers will be coming from inside this TV to a nature near you. So come outside and celebrate the beautiful LGHG TV community. All right, a couple of things here. Uh, number one, interesting time of the year to sell winter apparel <laughs> as the weather's heating up. Number two, uh, Salt Lake City, uh, I would imagine big Mormon community uh, in Utah, certainly in general. Uh, so that's um, an interesting um, market to try to cater to your needs and uh, lifestyle. And I don't. here's what I don't get. Yeah. I'm a real life homosexual, as opposed to like a fake life. I, like, what I, I does that mean? I don't know. I, like, wait, can you just isolate Nick Kale saying I'm a real life? <laughs> 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 I am Nick Kale. I'm a real life homosexual. And I support. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like I again, again. I don't think anybody has a problem with you being a homosexual. Well, I mean, there's a select few out there, but most people do not. Okay. But what what's a lot of a lot of gay people don't act like that. So again, most it's like this, don't. Uh, come on, yeah. look at the picture, look at the, describe this, right. describe this as a, um, a, a man with a mustache, <laughs> who's a ginger, Yeah. so great hair, a yeah. great wig or hair, if that's, if that's the real well, hair, for, yeah. and um, big, very big eyelashes and pink lipstick, looks like a, mustache. Twist, like a Twisted Sister video. Yeah, and yeah. then the, the rainbow um, headband with that long red hair. Yep. And long fingernails, but it's, but so it's a, it's a trans biological male, yeah, I guess. Right. So of all the gay people that you know, I don't know anybody who's, I, if I look, I know many, many people who are saying this does not, this person does not represent the gay community or gay guys or lesbians, you know what I mean? Right. And so I, I just think, I don't know, to me, this is. And then, and then they're advertising the rainbow outfits for little kids. It's the whole Target thing again. Mm-hmm. It's not. They're not talking anything, thank God. But I don't know. Daniel Valdez says, "Kind of a dig at Dylan yeah. Mulvaney for playing I, a character." Jump on the mic because it's a good point. I find I find that interesting. Is this in jest to like? Is this like a revenge thing to what Dylan Mulvaney was saying? Is that why he started with a real life homosexual? Well, that's what I would say. I mean, if you say real life and you ha- if you look at Dylan, they're kind of just he- he's kind of just playing a character where if you can look at the commercial, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm also gay, but I'm also drag queen, but I'm real homosexual. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's- Whatever. That's way too inside. I mean, the average person is just looking at that going, what? Yeah. And 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 gay groups, especially gay men, mm-hmm. have come out against all this stuff. Right. Because they're like. Yo, we just want to work and live and be right. like this is not representative of us, and yeah. we don't want little kids dressing up in a 
onesie with a tucket thing. Like, mm-hmm. I, I think that that <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I think I mean, wait till Riley Gaines gets a load of this video. Oh boy! And here here's the, the the thing at the end of the day is these companies have come to the realization in their train of thought that their CEI score and their ESG score and those ratings matter more to them than losing some profit.